Well, the day too, they did not say, you get this choir and ready, amen. Sam Freeman said you can tell we can get Alzheimer's if you get all of the numbers that we get the house deep go. Sunday school is when you have church school on Sunday. All right. 
but there should be some church school every day. The church needs to recognize her responsibility to school those who need growth. Right? And no matter who you are, you can all, we can all stand some spiritual growth. The challenge of the church is that one thing you do, you find somebody who's less fortunate than you and you share what you have with them. But then you find somebody who's better off than you and you try to grab what you can from them. Learn what you can from who you can, but share what you have with whoever it takes. And then you'll learn really what church ministry is all about. If you don't get that, you lose it. If you don't get that, you miss it. If you don't get that, you really don't know what the purpose is. If we're not growing lives, and we're not helping people to become better, if we're not helping folks to become spiritually stronger, we are indeed wasting our time. It's not about showing somebody you got more than they have. You drive a better car, you wear better clothes, you got more money. It's not about showing somebody you have more degrees than they have and you think you're smarter than they are. It's about whatever you have, you ought to be willing to share with somebody else. You're trying to make the world a better place, and if I can make them better and somebody help me to become better, everybody is blessed. Are you praying with me? That, that's the sermon. The mentoring man, the mentor man, uh, the man who mentors, the mentor, is my first point, is that, is that we see Elijah in this role of mentor. Yes. He recognized what I just shared with you, his responsibility. You see, you see, you have a responsibility to pour into the lives of young people. Right. You don't have the responsibility to talk about how short that dress is. You don't have the responsibility to tell them how badly they dress. You need to have the responsibility of pouring into them knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. If you pour it up in them, you don't have to worry about how they dress. They are needed. If you feed them the right kind of food, yeah. Yeah. the rest will fall in line. Yeah. But you need to first take on your responsibility uh-huh. to pour into them yeah. that which you have. Right. Yeah. Yeah. This, this becomes quite important when it comes to men and boys. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got quiet. Men, especially, Kingdom men, Christian men have a grave responsibility of pouring into boys. I'm not trying to be prejudiced. I mean, I understand. I'm telling you today, this morning, that, that I understand that I think there are a lot of mothers should be honored on Father's Day. Because they had to be the mother and the father. Come on here, somebody. But some folks got some sorry men around here. Being a father means more than just making babies. Because you divorce, I divorce. Because you divorce don't mean you stop being a father. You still have a responsibility. You still ought to be helping those children. I'm not talking about with, with the common things of life, like oh, eating them somewhere to sneak them, yeah. rub over their head. Yeah. When we come time for school, don't get scared. Tuition ain't free. Yeah. You need to help pay for yeah. your children's yeah. education. Yeah. Don't be running like you don't know what's going on. Come on, I pay child support. Child support ain't gonna get nobody to eat out. You can't go to a cheap school. <laughs> I wish I had somebody praying this problem. You got to take on your responsibility as a man. Do I have a witness here? The, the, the women who does best recognize there are some things that only a man can teach a boy to help him become a man. Y'all better give me the day. I just 
So I don't have against the women, but the women who are best at it knew they had to have a man in that boy's life. It might be granddad, it might be an uncle, some uncles, it might be the neighbor down the street, uncle John, but, but that somebody has to pour into that boy to teach him what being a man is all about. It's not suggesting the women don't have a role with the boy either, too, because you think women, especially nowadays, you need to teach your son he should treat women the way he wants you to be treated. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to hit somebody if you don't want your mama to get hit. You don't want your sister being beat on, but you have no right beating on somebody else's sister. You treat every woman like you want your mama and your sister treated. Treat them like you want your daughter treated. I wish I had a so that, so that, so that, so that I need to res- understand my responsibility as a man to do that which God has laid at my church. Yeah. 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 All I'm trying to say is it doesn't happen by accident, people. We've got to do it. And, and, and most of us sit here, all of us sit here, it was done for us. Yeah. The sad fact of the matter is we got too many children when it's not being done for them today. Yeah. Everybody who sat in Sunday school when we didn't have a daddy, some of them didn't have a mom. But they all were in Sunday school. Look at all the hymns that they had. And they got to Sunday school because somebody saw to it that they got to Sunday school. But it's hard to get boys to Sunday school if you're not in Sunday school yourself. Rick House, 
Somebody to say, hey, you need to build. 